Yeah, I'm going to give you a very short little introduction to my score here, which is for Polon by Sally Cater. It's a two-page score, uh, just to show you the basic features of how the scores work. First, the most important thing you have here is a kind of clef, or the tuning. So here you can see the tuning is D, A, D, F sharp, B, E, going from the bottom note. So we normally have E, A, D, G, B, E. That's where we're starting. So to get that low D, you take your sixth string down, and to get the F sharp, you check that with your fourth fret on the D string, then you'll see capo four. I usually keep my capo up here on the headstock so I don't lose it. Put that on the fourth fret. thing you'll notice is that you have red notes and black notes. The red notes are to show you the melody. And then the black notes are the accompaniment. So we have Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start by creating a cycle just practice the first part, the red melody alone. Now, you're going to be in second position, which means that the first fret corresponds to the second fret. So first position is down here, second position, third, fourth, fifth, etc. Now you'll notice that you have that, 5-2, then you have to shift up to fourth position. So what I'll sometimes write here is this is to show that you're in second position and then this is to show you're in fourth position and then you're back in second that's one way of writing it or we can just simply write the fingering four one and then four is again here one there. So now let's create a cycle with those two going round. So we go. And two, three, four. And two, three, four. And two, three, four. Etc. Now we want to add in the accompaniment. Now the accompaniment you'll see it also has a two in it. So in order to keep the melody ringing, the red melody ringing while the accompaniment plays, you need to use a little bar chord, which is a half bar chord, even less than half. It's just two strings, and you always use the outer edge of the finger to press the strings down, not the flat part, just on the outer. So you, if that's straight on, you just roll it to the side, and you'll have this. Now you've got to get all the way back up to the seven. So what I do is I let make the three short. And it's short by releasing on the left side. fourth fret, fourth finger on the seventh, and back down. So we have now I leave that two ringing and I put down this chord four three two and we can do those two bars as a cycle like this three four try and 
can do is see how would it work without the music. You should try and see if you can remember it. Maybe first by looking. There's your melody. Two, three, four. 